I want to talk to you about being comfortable. Being in that place called comfort zone. When we talk comfort zone, I want you to get a vision of what is comfort zone and why is it so dangerous. Now, some of you are going to suffer a problem that we've experienced in the body of Christ called you ask not, therefore you have not. And so this journey that we're going to begin is all scriptural, but it's also business. And many of us don't have because we're too comfortable and choose to remain comfortable and are afraid of being out of balance. Therefore, we stay balanced. And before I teach that, I want you to hear to prepare you in orientation. The nature of all living organisms my background is in behavioral science, so I want you to, and I'm a student of behavioral science, even beyond my education. And so I want you to hear the words that I speak. I'm not just speaking out of lack of information that has not been verified and qualified. Amen. The nature of all living organisms seek balance of internal pressure. Every living organism seek balance of internal pressure. Anytime there is an imbalance of that internal pressure, the pursuit of life is to return it to balance. How many understood what I've just said? As it applies to one's sexuality, since we have adults in the room, when one is in need of sexual pressure, that sexual pressure throws them out of balance. And so until that pressure has been satisfied, they will remain motivated to pursue balance. How many understand what I said? People are often asking, why did they come, these people come to visit me on certain times and then I don't see them anymore? Because they have come to visit when they were what? And yes, you help them return to balance and now your use was satisfied and you were no longer needed. And so with that, we call that animalistic. You're just an old animal and it's true. Because what you're dealing with, I need my marker. And this is why you need to understand this before we talk comfort zone. You're called stimulus response. So in essence, the stimulus was one's hunger that caused now the automatic response. The lion chased the gazelle. He ate it when he caught it. He didn't ask the gazelle if you're married and have children, if you're a good gazelle or not a good gazelle. It was a slow gazelle. Do you understand? And he captured it because it was too slow. It was nothing personal. It was only what? A stimulus. So that that animal could return to what? Of internal pressure. I say this to you because many of us don't understand what keeps us in this place of comfort. That comfort is a place of balance of internal pressure. Doesn't have to mean that you're happy or that it's where you have been called to be, but you have come to a place of balance. That balance can have a wide range of scales. So many times your job has paid you enough that you could be in balance. You don't like what you do. You're only, you're waiting for retirement. But it's paying you enough to stay what? And so you've been at that job. You've been in that relationship long beyond the intended purpose. Because it has kept you in balance. And there's a formula that you may have been taught 
that we will remain in that balance until it becomes intolerable to stay there. Current behavior, algebraic equation in physics, current behavior times intolerable pain brings change. Did you hear what I said? So what moves me, motivates me to change is it has to become what? See, some of you have been in a relationship or were in that relationship. You didn't belong there, but you stayed there until it became what? And so the risk of leaving was greater than the reward of staying where you are. And so the children of Israel were okay with the hard labor. They didn't like it and they cried out, Oh God, deliver us from this Pharaoh. But until he sent him a Pharaoh that knew not Joseph, that doubled their labor, it became what? Intolerable. And you see this the stimulus it causes us to respond is my hunger becomes intolerable. My desire, my passions become intolerable. And it causes me to move. That movement, let's go to the next one. This, this current behavior times intolerable pain. But I want to introduce you to another formula that we're going to begin to talk today. Current behavior times vision can cause you to move.